First up and on court now, we've got top seed David Bayajan, and he is up against number four seed Nick Sacri. This could be the pick of the day, I think. It's the ball just bouncing almost twice before the uh, the tee line. Looking to do it again. There he takes it down. Nicely played by David. Two great backhand winners in a row. For all. Good patience from Nick. He had a, he had <laughs> wow, wow. Where did that come from? Great hand speed, and just ripped that into the Nick. Watch the acceleration Nine on five. that swing right there. Beautiful. Really taking the tee from David here and forcing David to hang on more than uh, dictate. That's going to be a difficult let. Five. No let. Game Didn't even ask for it. Well done by Nick. One he needed that first ball. game. You don't want to play that bang bang one pace game. I don't think with David you want you want to really change it up, give him different angles, put the ball on the wall, and try to chop up his good speed and movement. Well, that's the problem if you've got players, two players that are quite similar like these two. You've got to be the one to find those differences. It's a good rally here. A little bit more variety from both of them. Nice lob to the back end. Good movement there, a big stretch from Nick. And again, a good counter drop. Lovely. Gets the win, <laughs> Ooh, beautiful, beautiful. Had to work hard for that rally, so you don't want too many of those or he's gonna fall off the pace. But Both sort of resetting in the middle of the rally. I'm going back to being more patient. Oh, flattens <laughs> a Nick from above his head. That is not really a shot and you're gonna see from Nick too all. often, but. Uh, See it, it was fantastically. There's yeah. the hammer. Oh, it is. The big forehand lefty hammer, reminiscent of a great Canadian from the West Coast, Jeremy Main. 7-5. We all know him. A little change of pace here from the guys pushing it up and down that right wall. with the hammer from the front of the court. He's a little bit more of a hold on that one. Well, 11-7, game to Blasian. I'd back my grandmother to make that one. <laughs> Good play nice. by David, really sending Nick in short. Nick leaving another short, loose ball, and he finished it with the, with the follow-up. Well, I ball. think that Sakfi needs this game. The chance. Pressure. David here. Post, he gets it on his forehand. Oh, Nick stood on that ball, causing a bit of interference. Bayaja tried to go through and play it. He's just knocked off balance. This is a pro move right here. Look at Nick at the last bit, getting in his way, taking that little bit of extra. Bayaja with the cross court. She's both guys battling here. Great reaction yet. Nick lays down the hammer. Barajon replies with a good straight length. That's a tight shot. What's he going to... Oh, the, oh error. the error comes. 13-11. Oh, what game a game. What a battle. That's going to really hurt to one. young Nick Sackvi. Nick's on the board here. That was good. Good positive. Stroke to the back of the court, follows it up with a Hand beautiful out. volley here. One, Takes four. it right in there. Beautiful. 
Good counter by Nick. 70 minutes, Jonathan. 70 minutes, wow. Good choice to play that by David. Yeah, you have to play them these days. If he hadn't, it would have been a no let. It's when you call that. That's Hand a stroke. Out. Eventually, that Nick would just fall off the pace, it seems like. And, and winning that big third game certainly helped. Nice finish, though. Match to well Color played. Run, three games Great match. To one. Five, 11, Fantastic 11, match seven, between 13, these two. 11, 11, three. Our first finalist here. The number one seed into the final tomorrow against uh, the winner of our next match, Mike McHugh and Sean Delier. So Bayajar extends that winning streak against Sakvi. It was a bit tougher this one though. 73 minutes, 3 1 win for Bayajar. 5 11, 11 7, 13 11, 11 3. He was really playing well in the first game. I had trouble seeing the ball because of the sun and then kind of things went the other way in the second. I got a, a quick lead and I won the, that game fairly comfortably. And then I knew uh, that whoever won the third game was probably going to win the match. So I had to do a, a massive push at the end in the tie break to win that game. And then I, I made a big push at the beginning of the fourth and, and I kind of knew I had him in the ropes. Yeah. Delia are looking very comfortable right from the beginning. Oh, the sharpness in the front. Not known for that, uh, taking it short. All kinds of different looks, and Mike is looking very unsettled here in the first game. Yeah, and the cross My court, gosh. though, cross court straight onto the racket, keeps cross courting. Yeah, I think just with his defensive position. <laughs> forcing the cross court. Chung's just putting so much uh, pressure on him. Underdog, probably for the first time against Mike. Uh well, he has well, he left that one up. Had his number the last couple of times they've played. Oh, lays <laughs> down the hammer of Thor, but it's too high. <laughs> Stop this is out of game. So unsettling the to play against. The choices he's making. Yeah, oh, the softness of the drop. Great time. Out four. of his skin, I love it. Really good variation to pace. Delier, Delier leads Fantastic first up. game from Delier. Oh, this is this type of squash that Mike's gonna like. Up and down the wall. Really cerebral squash, trying to find the corner. But Sean just changes it oh. up, and Mike hits an <laughs> unbelievable winner. <laughs> oh. Maybe a little bit fortunate. And oh, very. Three I mean, Sean hits got a his beautiful neck here, and then Mike barely scrapes it in the fault. He's just sort of settled a little bit, Q. He's straightened up. Not a good idea, that high boast. Um, there's <laughs> no need for it either. Hand <laughs> out. Five not, ball. It's never a good idea to hit high boast. No. Let's just put it, uh, put it that way. You're setting your opponent up in the game ball. Just tight, tight stuff by Mike. Loose ball by Sean. Loose ball by Mike. Oh. Ten. <laughs> that was leisure center squash Can right there. Yeah. Loose, ball, loose ball, loose ball, ten. Game ball, McHugh. Oh, <laughs> showed Nick and laid down the hammer to the back, and, and Mike was nowhere near it. Squash though. relatively steady. Yeah, he's really managing the situation beautifully. Lovely, beautiful oh, finish. Oh, gives him a game. little eyeball 15, at the end 13, of that fist pump. Game. Not only does he win 15-13, screams out and looks his opponent in the eye with the death stare. I think Sean's up against it now that Mike's got, got found a foothold now. It's just getting that extra ball back, keeping the ball tight. Do you think the errors will start to I come? think the errors are going to start to creep in for Sean, and Mike is just going to close down the court like that. Straight drop, straight length, not give him the opportunity. Yeah, just waited there for Delier to love. open the court. Straight drop, a simple shot, well executed. 
Nice shot. That was double bounce. Could have been a double, eh? I was dubious. Oh, that's oh. a. <laughs> I almost swore that. It was brilliant. What a finish. That was Just brilliant. Just managed to get the strings through it. I, I, I hear you. I didn't see it, but I'll be watching. Thank you. I didn't, I didn't see it. I thought he was questioning the double bounce, but he's actually saying he got... Hand out. Six all. Jeez, that was a tough shot. Is it just a, is a manner of asking that really irritates players, and Delier does it in spades? <laughs> yeah. With the quick, the really quick backswing. 10-7, game ball. Three game balls, Delier. There's a big element to this game of showing the referee what they need to see, like in all sports, because they're not at the same level as the players. Seven. So game there needs to, to be what Sean Delier has done here, is, is showing what, what he's asking for. So Try and play a little bit more accurately. If he can find those corners, then Delier is isn't able to do what he's doing and look for those decisions. 4-1. And that use of the wrist. That's obviously taking a page out of his book. Oh my god, what a lunge. Oh. <laughs> Sean. Oh, oh my lord, Sean Delier. How you feeling? 39 years old and moving like a dream. 10-2, match ball. There's the hammer again, Mike with the drop, counter drop. Mike stuck in the front, it's over. It's all over. Oh, ho, ho. Four, match to the veteran upsetting and upstyling Mike McHugh. Love it, in the shop, Yorkdale shopping mall, bringing all the style. 60 minutes in duration. Delier wins three games to one, fantastic effort. I don't remember a thing. There was a lot of stomping that went right to my head and uh, a lot of uh, heart. And uh, surely uh, Mike gave a great battle. Uh, we have tough ones. We have like battles more towards each other than the actual match. It makes it very difficult to focus on your own shot without thinking, where is he? Am I being blocked? Do I have the opening? And I just sort of let all that go. I just sort of said, you know, let's just try to put in my shot that I'm supposed to hit here, there, and there. And that was my, that's my take. And I, I got the better of it, trying not to be confrontational. It's, although, you know, you have so much heart, you want it. So it gets in the way when you're going for the wrong things out there. Try to have fun. Try to enjoy it while you can. <laughs> 